What's up guys? It is John with hookah-shisha.com bringing you Azure Cigar Tobacco for hookahs. What is this stuff? It's cigar tobacco for hookahs. This is one of the latest products that Azure Hookah Tobacco is bringing us. It's going to come in a little 50 gram jar and essentially what it is is a blend of various cigar tobaccos made for hookah with a very very basic blend of ingredients. We have finest blend of cigar tobacco, molasses, vegetable glycerin, and flavoring. Now the flavoring on this, honestly, I don't think there is much. I think this is one of the few hookah products you're going to find that really focuses on the tobacco itself. That's why your main ingredients are the molasses and glycerin. Molasses, of course, to sweeten things up and make it smokable for a hookah, and glycerin to give you just a little bit more of those nice clouds and just a little bit more sweetness. Now, if you, like me, are a fan of Zaglul hookah tobacco, you might know that that's very hard to find these days, and that's okay. Sometimes things move along, but I have been long hoping that someone would come along with a modernized form of Zagul tobacco, and here we have it in Azure Cigar Tobacco. Azure Cigar, it's got some great flavors, starts off a little bit chocolatey, gets into some tobacco note, but honestly, I'm gonna let a few of my coworkers tell you what they think about the flavor of Azure Cigar. Alrighty, tidy. Let's see. Azure Cigar. Yeah, that like taste on the end of your tongue is definitely just like someone smoking a cigar around you. You just like pick up the smoke just a little bit. It actually tastes pretty good, man. I'm not really a fan of cigar either. Cool throat hit there. And this is cigar straight? Mm-hmm. Not bad. I can definitely feel that there is going to be a buzz coming in with this. It's definitely like a... It's a taste of tobacco. <laughs> if there's a way to put it on there. It's, I mean, it's like... I wasn't really getting that super, super chocolate, but I could definitely see where people get the chocolate from. You definitely get that tobacco leaf note in there too. Like, not just sort of the caramel chocolate. This would be like, for what would we call them, tobacconists? Yeah. Tobacconists? I don't know if that's right. That doesn't sound right. I would say this is the kind of hookah tobacco that you might use if you have an uncle. Let's say your uncle's name is Adam and he's got his own chickens Quack. and he sells eggs Quack. at his company. And maybe in the weekends, he does auctions for charity and he wears this really funny cowboy hat and suit and no one really knows much about him but you know that he doesn't want to try your hookah. Tell him that you have a cigar tobacco for your hookah and maybe you and good old Uncle Adam, not that Uncle Adam, weird, rapper, not him, no, but your Uncle Adam that does charity auctions in a cowboy hat, he will sit down with you over this at a campfire. So, you know that this is great for your Uncle Adam, and you know that this is a cigar style tobacco, and you know that it's very different from what you're used to in hookahs, but what you don't know is how do you pack it, and how do you heat manage it? Well, here's how I did it. You're going to start with just mixing it up in the container. The juice in this stuff is really thick and it's going to settle really easily once you've packed it and left the jar alone for a day. So make sure you stir it really, really well inside of this container. Then just drop it into a funnel bowl. You're not going to want to use an Egyptian bowl on this because even with a funnel bowl, this is going to make your base really dirty really fast because of that really dark molasses. So, just sprinkle this into a funnel, make sure that everything's nice and even. That's pretty much it. The only other special treatment that this gets is just make sure it's way more below the lip than you're used to, as you can kind of see in this shot here. Now, as for foil, I'm using two sheets of heavy-duty foil. So, if you have normal foil, you might want to go four sheets, and your heavy-duty foil, go 
go to sheets. And then I'm putting a provost on top. And right now, I'm running with four mini cube coals. That's going to be three cube coals, most likely. And that's pretty much it. It's super simple. You're not going to have to take coals on or add coals too much. And it's going to ride for a really long time this way. And I would suggest that if you're only wanting one round of coals, maybe you uh, save this for another day because this bowl, this super small 80 feet bowl, this can run two sessions of coals very easily. This is something you're going to want to sit back and relax with for quite a while. Two, maybe three rounds of coals will go through this bowl. There's one more thing. I would recommend that you smoke this in a very, very small funnel bowl. I'm recommending the 80 feet 80, the 80 feet resurrection, the alpaca mini roof, and the alien bowl. Why? Well, this stuff, I understand, is a little bit pricey. Um, and it only comes in 50 grams, so you might want to save this for a while. And seeing as I see this as something that's going to run two or three rounds of coal in a bowl as small as this particular 80 feet, probably two or three rounds in even an alien, you really don't want to use a bigger bowl for this. Save your money, save your beautiful Azure Cigar tobacco, and use a small bowl. It will get the job done, no problem. And that is pretty much it for this Azure Cigar Tobacco. There's not really a whole lot else to say. It's really good stuff if you're looking for something different, if you're looking for something nice and warm for these winter months that we here in Texas do not get to experience. It was 81 degrees here yesterday and it is February. That is unnecessary Texas. Get it together. And that's it. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.